Hi everyone, I'm Andrea. Today I'll be talking about the applications of chemistry manufacturing the use of antacids and the connection of these applications with the concepts that grade 12 students deal with in their chemistry course. So each day our stomach produces about 2 or 3 liters of gastric juice containing hydrochloric acid, which helps digestion of food proteins by the enzyme pepsin in the gastric juice and kill bacteria that enters our digestive system. Normally the acid level in our stomach is about 2 or 3, however, Overeating, eating certain types of food, especially fatty and spicy food, or high levels of stress may cause the stomach to respond with an outpouring of acid, lowering the stomach pH. Then the acid will be forced up out of the stomach into unprotected esophagus and will react with tissues and cause a burning sensation commonly known as heartburn. To relieve this pain, an antacid is ingested. So what exactly are antacids? Well, antacids are weak bases that neutralize the success stomach acid to pH about 3, and thus relieves the pain that we get when hydrochloric acid is overly produced. Antacids are most commonly bicarbonates, hydroxides, and carbonates. Then how are antacids made? An antacid is made with a chemical that is combined with other inert ingredients. It is then compressed into pill form and is coated with a coating which dissolves in the stomach. Most antacids contain two or more chemicals, and these chemicals include aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide, aluminum carbonate gel, calcium carbonate, and sodium bicarbonate. These bases used as antacids range in pH from 8.5 to 10.5. Also, antacids are made in many different forms, such as gel, powder, suspension, liquid, and tablets but tablet and liquid forms are the most common types. Antacids can be used to treat a number of common symptoms in the esophagus, stomach, and intestines. And some of these symptoms include indigestion, gastritis, peptic ulcer, and heartburn. Antacids must either be chewed or drank to reduce the pain. In the stomach, neutralization reaction occurs between antacid and the hydrochloric acid, and the general equation is Antacid plus HCl forms salts, water, and carbon dioxide. The chemistry behind the manufacturing and the use of antacids can be connected to three concepts that are taught in grade 12 chemistry course. The first one is rate of reaction, the second is solubility, and the third is acids and bases. Connection number one, rate of reaction. Collision theory states that when the reactant molecules have sufficient energy and they collide with the proper orientation, reaction will happen. The factors affecting, affecting rate of reaction involving antacid include state of matter and surface area. Liquid antacids provide us with faster relief of pain but do not last long. On the other hand, solid antacid provide us with longer effects but it acts slowly. The reaction between solid antacid and liquid HCl is much slower than the reaction between liquid antacid and liquid HCl because it takes more energy and time to separate the molecules consisting solid antacid than to separate liquid antacid molecules because the force of attraction between particles of liquid antacid is less than that of the solid antacids. Also, liquid form of antacid has higher kinetic energy than that of solid antacid due to the particles vibrating as they move from place to place increasing the average kinetic energy of the particles. In addition, liquid antacid ha has larger space for reactant particles to move and collide, resulting in increased frequency of collision. If one of the reactants is a solid, the surface area of the solid will affect how fast the reaction goes. Larger particles have a smaller surface area than smaller particles for the same mass of solid. To increase the surface area of the antacid, solid antacids are chewed or broken down in the mass before they are swallowed. Increasing the surface area of the reactants results in a higher number of reaction sites, and this increases the number of total collisions. The greater the frequency of total collisions, the greater frequency of effective collisions. And if the frequency of effective collisions increases, so does the reaction rate. So the larger the surface area of the solid, the faster the reaction will be. Connection number two, solubility. Because antacids are weak bases, most of them are insoluble or sparingly soluble in water and do not go through 100% dissociation. So less than 0 0.1 gram dissolves in 100 milliliters softened. For example, magnesium carbonate is soluble to the extent of about 0.02 grams per 100 milliliter of water at room temperature. Solubility product constant, KSP, can also be used to determine how soluble the salt is in solution. 
Salt with smaller Ksp has lower solubility, and many antacids has lower Ksp value. Magnesium hydroxide, for example, is only slightly soluble in water and has Ksp value of 5.61 times 10 to the power of negative 12, which is a very small number. If antacids have very strong bases with high solubility, they will rapidly react with acid in the stomach and go through a neutralization that could possibly cause more serious damage to the stomach because most of the neutralization reactions are exothermic. Thus, its low solubility prevents it from rapidly reacting with HCl and allows it to slowly neutralize the acid. The last connection is acid and base reaction. Antacids react with excess stomach acid by neutralization. In neutralization reaction, acids are protein donors, which can be converted into conjugate bases. These are substances which contain hydrogen ions or cause hydrogen ions to be produced in solutions. Bases are proton acceptors which can be converted into conjugate acid after the neutralization reaction. They are substances which contain hydroxide ions or produce it in the solution. When an acid or a base is in water, strong acid or strong bases go through 100% ionization, but weak acid or weak base go through partial ionization due to their low solubility. In the reaction happening in our stomach, HCl is strong acid that go through 100% dissociation, while antacid is a weak base. During the neutralization process, hydrogen ions from the acid and hydroxide ions from the base react together to form a water molecule. In the process, a salt is also formed when the anion from strong acid and the cation from weak base react together. This type of reaction can occur between HCl and aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, or sodium bicarbonate. Salt formed from strong acid and weak base neutralization results in water formed from the reaction and eventually produces acidic solution with pH about 2 or 3. Why? Well, weak bases dissociate very little. Therefore, the equilibrium lies to the left. When the reaction is read from right to left, the cation becomes a strong conjugate acid of the weak base. So only the cation influences pH value. So for instance, when the salt magnesium chloride is in water, it gives magnesium and chloride ions. The chloride ion does not contribute to the pH of the solution because it is the weak conjugate base of the strong acid, HCl. However, magnesium ion is a strong conjugate acid of the weak base, magnesium hydroxide, so that it will contribute to the pH of the solution. As a result, the solution of this salt will be acidic. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little fun experiment using red cabbages indicator, uh, vinegar, and milk of magnesia. Um, this milk of magnesia is also called magnesium hydroxide, and the vinegar, as you know, is acidic acid. This acidic acid will be used to represent hydrochloric acid in our stomach, and the milk of magnesia, the antacid, will be used to neutralize acidic acid. So here I have um, the mixture of water, red cabbage juice indicator, and a little bit of vinegar. Uh, and it shows really a uh, bright pink color, indicating that the solution is acidic. Um, here I'm gonna add some of uh, milk of magnesia, the antacid. And now watch what happens when I add this solution in this mixture because that's what happens in our stomach when we um, ingest antacids. So I'm going to add a lot of magnesium hydroxide. Alright, this. And it reacts really slowly. As you can see, the color is changing, suggesting that milk of magnesia is reacting with acetic acid. So now we change it to green color, indicating that the solution is basic. Now, thank you for watching.